This quarter will travel to the Inter-American region. The people here are friendly, and the scenery is beautiful. The area is made up of 37 countries throughout the Caribbean, Central America, and the northern countries of South America. The 39 languages and dialects make sharing the Adventist message here a challenge. But church members are working creatively to share the gospel, and membership is growing with an average of about 500 new members added each day to the 3.7 million existing members. Belize is commonly described as a small country with a big heart. It lies between Mexico and Guatemala and sits on the Caribbean coast. Tourists come from all over to spend time by the ocean and soak in the rich culture. If we look back in history, we'll find a large territory controlled by the Mayan Empire. Today, the remains of this empire can still be found. Large pyramids sit in the jungle where many religious ceremonies once took place. In addition to the rich history, there are all kinds of adventures to experience in Belize. Belize is known worldwide for its wildlife. If you're lucky, you can spot a monkey or a toucan in the trees. If you're searching on the ground level, look out for Belize's national animal, the tapir, or even a rare jaguar sighting. Belize has one of the largest barrier reefs in the world, making it a popular destination for divers and snorkelers. Fish, turtles, and a variety of marine life can be found along the coast. Some brave divers will even jump into the water with the sharks. When walking through towns and villages, about one out of every 10 people you meet is likely to be an Adventist. On any given day, you will find members singing, praying, and teaching. On this evening in Belize City, Keith Alarcon leads a small group in Bible studies. Keith is an active member in the local church. Many of these people are not Adventists. In fact, they are meeting at the house of someone who asked to learn more about the Adventist message. Keith knows that his job is important. Small groups are an effective way to start new congregations of believers. By spending quality time with them, Keith and other church members have become friends with this group and are able to share God's love with them. By the illumination of this simple light, they read from God's Word. And one of the first things that anybody will see when they come is to see our enthusiasm in soul winning, in reaching the unreached. We believe we want Jesus to come soon. This is another happy Sabbath morning in northern Belize. On the campus of Belize Adventist Junior College, this group meets under a tent for church. The tent helps shade the church members from the hot sun, but also serves as protection from other elements. The weather here can change quickly, and when it rains here, it pours. Everyone takes cover in the nearby chapel, but it is too small to fit everyone. But not a single complaint is spoken. They continue to praise in the little chapel. The youth of Belize are eager to learn about Jesus, and on this Sabbath, some even make the decision to be baptized. The country is dotted with Adventist schools, just like Belize Adventist Junior College. The church recognizes that education is valuable and the youth are important to their future. Many children from the community attend these schools because of the quality education they receive and it is one way they have the opportunity to learn about Jesus. Further down the road is La Loma Luz Adventist Hospital. This hospital was established in 1972 and serves as an important part of the community. The staff here provides quality care for their patients, treating a wide range of symptoms. The Adventist health system stretches around the world. This hospital upholds the same standard of care that is seen globally. The Seventh-day Adventist Church is committed to preach, teach, and heal in Belize. They are making progress through their small groups, schools, hospitals, and clinics. Please pray for the people in Belize. <laughs> Jamaica is an island surrounded by the Caribbean Sea. We are a distinct people. We are warm and friendly. This popular island destination is home to thousands of Seventh-day Adventist members. We now have 
there's about 300,000 persons in this country who are Seventh-day Adventists. And we're so happy to have the work has grown to the place where we now have five conferences forming the Jamaica Union Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. On any given Sabbath, you can walk into a church and expect warm greetings and passionate praise. Each week, the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Jamaica grows. On this Sabbath, more than 80 people gave their lives to Jesus. People from all different backgrounds and social classes come to the ocean to celebrate the decision of those being baptized. Although membership is growing, Jamaica faces many challenges. People suffer from poverty and depressing domestic situation. Crime creates fear in certain communities, especially in urban areas. Her Excellency, the Honorable Lady Allen, holds a high leadership position in Jamaica and is a faithful member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Her husband, Sir Patrick Allen, is Governor General of Jamaica and was knighted by England's Queen Elizabeth II. Lady Allen's position in government gives her an overall perspective of the challenges Jamaica faces. What we need to do as a people is to come together to harness the, the ones that are committing the crimes and really get them out. We have a culture where people are afraid to speak out and that is where the problem lies. Because of the economic situation, we are not able to do all the social things that we'd like to do. So our social structures are not in place to prevent some of the problems that we are having. But despite all that we are facing, our people are strong, resilient, hopeful. So we look forward to better days. In order to reach these people, Pastors and church members put Christ's method into practice. They go to the people. Despite the challenges, many of these people have hope when they hear the name of Jesus. God has used his people to continually present God's words before them. So men are all, always mindful. We have heard stories where people have held people up. There was one situation where a young man's Tel, um, telephone was taken from him and um, his money and he said you know the money is my tithe and the other gunman said to him give the man back his money and he would not and he held his, the gun at him and say I say give the man back his money he said it is his tithe so you know that God must have worked in that situation and there are countless other stories to show how God has been leading in, in, in his people's lives. The challenges are just a small roadblock for such a powerful God. Please pray for the people of Jamaica and the people in the inter-American region of the world. I'd want them to pray for a reformation so that men and women, boys and girls, can really see who God is and that we as Seventh-day Adventists will really be evangel-living people. We will live out Christ so that they can see Christ in us. <laughs>